While simple on the surface, Valheim is a game with complex mechanics, and knowing some of these tricks can take your gameplay to the next level. So here are 50 plus advanced tips to enhance your Valheim experience. Let's get into it. The Stag Breaker can be used to destroy buried chests found between these rock formations, forcing its loot up to the surface, which can save you time over searching with a pickaxe. The Stag Breaker can also be used to find silver in the mountains before having acquired a wishbone. Just keep an eye out for the two hard texts popping up, and you'll know you found some. Dirt clipping through floor tiles can give you the ability to place a campfire on it. Afterwards, level out the dirt, and you now have a campfire on a floor tile. You can use bosses or larger creatures such as trolls to get resources such as wood or even ores at a much faster rate. If you activate a Forsaken power by accident, you can quickly jump during the animation to cancel it before the full activation. Key tapping is much faster when putting wood, coal, and ores into the kiln or smelter, opposed to holding the interact key. When splitting an item stack, you can actually type in specific numbers rather than using the slider. You can dodge roll to unhook yourself from a cart. The blue highlight on build pieces indicates that that piece is grounded and has 100% stability. Building on the side of trees provides the same effect making them the best option for building tall structures without worrying about stability. On top of that, some trees in the world are completely indestructible, making them even more ideal foundations to create a base on. Use wooden beams around the frame of windows to give them a more polished look. Alternating floor tiles can be a good way to add an extra layer of detail to your builds. Create terrain walls using the hoe to protect your base in dangerous locations, as they cannot be damaged by creatures. Build proper defenses to house tamed animals. This will prevent the eventual heartbreak and hassle when certain enemies find a way in. Turn on friendly fire in the top right of the inventory screen. Then use a harpoon to latch onto tamed animals, making for an easy method of transporting them. Tamed animals can also be transported overseas using boats, the longship being the safest due to its larger surface area. Or if it's a shorter trip, you can just do this because that's totally humane. When foraging, you can turn down your vegetation settings to find mushrooms and other supplies more easily. When planting crops, toggle on walking, look down at a 45 degree angle, and begin spamming primary attack. This will give you perfectly aligned spacing in between each crop. Flax and barley can be harvested using weapons, the Akir special attack being the most efficient. You can go to sleep to speed up the production of coal, smelted ores, meads, and crops. You can hop between worlds using the same character to quickly transport ores. This can be considered a cheap method, but I included it for those who may be short on time. And for those who may need it, here's a seed with an incredibly close swamp crypt, just south of spawn. You can salvage materials from stone towers even without a stone cutter. Simply dig underneath it, and eventually the entire structure will collapse. It's pretty satisfying, too. When digging out a trench or moat with a pickaxe, always hit the lowest part of the wall to immediately level the entirety of it to that height. Erect terrain pillars to stand on when fighting against grounded enemies, giving yourself an unreachable vantage point over your targets. Certlings die when in contact with water. So flam the land around their spawners to make a passive coal farm. You can throw certling cores into a bonfire to create fireworks. Put the certling cores in your hotbar and press the corresponding number while looking at the bonfire. And just like that, you can liven the night. Use a stag breaker in crypts and dungeons to damage enemies and spawners through walls. You can also use campfires in tight dungeon halls to create a choke point and inflict extra damage. Standing on the entrance ledge of any dungeon, with the exception of caves, will keep you protected from any melee-based enemies, as they cannot get up. Campfires can also be placed in these entrances to get an easy 10 minutes of the rested buff. Just make sure there aren't any enemies nearby, as they will prevent you from resting. Pickaxes do more damage when mining directly above an ore, rather than from the side. Digging under things like a rock or metal vein can create shelter from the elements, and serve as a roof to house a workbench. The same can be considered as a good way to make a quote-unquote cave or underground base. 
The Elder's boss fight landmark probably serves as the best location to create a true underground base, as the entire ground below it can be hollowed out. Consider mixing the matching armor sets to gain multiple unique buffs simultaneously. For example, a root chest piece for resistance against pierce, fanris leggings for some extra movement speed, and a wolf cape for resistance against frost. Although you may lose points for style. Sheathe weapons and tools by pressing R to put them on your back, allowing for quick retrieval when you need them by pressing R again. Hold down secondary attack when fighting creatures to keep your character facing the right direction, acting as a good way to track them. Simply let go and press it again to quickly parry an attack. Quickly switching to your hammer and putting it away is the fastest method to sheath weapons and tools as it does not have an equip animation. Your maximum HP has a direct impact on blocking potential. For example, trying to parry a troll with low health even if you have a very high level shield will not go well. Use a harpoon or wooden arrows when hunting birds as they are more cost efficient, not requiring feathers to craft. Fish can survive in the water inside of hot tubs, and since pufferfish inflict poison damage, it makes them an ideal candidate to put at the bottom of moats. Set up and bring a temporary portal with you when exploring new areas far from base. This will give you a quick way back home. When you're done using it, pack it up and be on your way. Signs can be attached to the inside of portals, making them more quickly legible from a distance. Changing an activated portal's name takes a second to register, so you still have a window to go through before it deactivates, giving you the ability to quickly change both sides of a portal's name. Two unnamed portals will automatically connect to each other, making this the best option for use in an emergency. Just be careful on your way back, as you'll likely have those same enemies waiting for your return. Use the hoe or pickaxe to create divots in the land when scaling steep mountains. This will give you a ledge to stand on and recover stamina. Hold shift to place boats on land, great for base build decorations or as an alternate way to get down from high places. Lure serpents towards shore before killing them. This will prevent their scales from sinking to the very bottom of the ocean. Jumping into water from higher heights will allow you to reach deeper depths, useful when retrieving sunken items. Serpent meat and any other lootable items floating in the water can be picked up by simply riding over it with a boat. Leaving workbenches on the coast of regions you sail past often can be used to perform quote-unquote drive-by repairs on your boat. Logging out when on a sinking leviathan and then logging back in will reset the sink timer, providing you with a longer window to harvest chitin. And tip number 55, rugs or banners can be placed over gaps in walls or floors to create hidden entrances. So there you have it, 50 plus of my most advanced tips to take your Valheim experience to the next level. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like and consider subscribing. Leave a comment letting me know which tip was your favorite and if there are any others you'd like to add. And with that said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.